There is a new wave to watch in the Atlantic, kind of. What's going on, guys? I'm certified meteorologist Jonathan Kagus, and in this video, we are going to talk about it. New is in quotation marks because it's actually old. It's a new highlight, but this is the remnants of what was Tropical Storm Cindy. We're going to break it down in just one second. There's also another wave coming into the Caribbean. We talked about this wave rolling off of Africa last week. There's no significant development likely with this thing, but certainly still going to bring some gusty storms to parts of the Caribbean islands. We're going to talk about that. And then just getting ready to enter the Caribbean. And this likely is going to impact the Gulf Coast and Southeast U.S. as we get into the 4th of July holiday. The largest plume of Saharan dust this season is working its way across the Atlantic. So we're going to talk all about that. Hey, before we get into the video, if you want to stay up to date on all things hurricane season, all things weather, you have to hit subscribe. Please do that. And if you find this content helpful, hit that thumbs up button. It really does help us out a lot. All right. So here is this wave. It used to be Tropical Storm Cindy. It's like Cindy is a zombie. Cindy's a zombie now. You see it right here, this big X. That's where the Hurricane Center watching again. Disorganized showers and thunderstorms all the way to the southeast of Bermuda. There is the island of Bermuda pointing that out with my arrow. And here is the area where this thing, what was Cindy, now just kind of an open wave of disorganized showers and thunderstorms, could redevelop once again as it kind of drifts towards the Canadian Maritimes, maybe even north. East Maine as we move over the next four or five days. You see, development chances are super low, 0% over the next 48 hours. But as we get beyond that time frame, as it moves into this area, that yellow area from Bermuda all the way up to the Canadian Maritimes, it has a 30% shot for development. We're going to come back to that towards the end of this video and also talk about that wave entering the Caribbean in just a few minutes. But first, I want to talk about this really large area of dust that is likely the biggest outbreak of Saharan dust this season, trekking across the Atlantic as we speak. It's really impacting the Cabo Verde Islands right now. And the darker the brown, where we start to get that white color, that means that we are talking about some really thick dust. And that is getting ready to move into Barbados, really already there. And as we get into the next few days, June 28th, 29th, that's when it's really going to start to get thick for Puerto Rico, parts of the Greater Antilles, and then closer to the 4th of July for the United States. I want to put that into motion. There you go, June 29th, really thick stuff towards the Virgin Islands, back down into the Lesser Antilles, Leeward and Windward Islands, Trinidad and Tobago, Puerto Rico, we are getting it. Watch what happens as we move into 4th of July weekend, July 3rd, July 2nd. Look at all the dust from Jamaica into Cuba, Florida Keys. And then as we get into 3rd and 4th of July, Independence Day and beyond, there's July 6th. Look at that. A lot of dust from the Bahamas to Cuba into Florida now, into the Gulf Coast of the United States. Houston getting in on this. Maybe even San Antonio, New Orleans, back to the Florida Panhandle, the Florida Peninsula, through Orlando, Miami, Jacksonville. And then through the North Gulf Coast, that will likely spread even further. And then right on the heels of that big dust plume comes another one. So now we are kind of making up for lost time. The dust has been acre atypically low for this time of the year. That really allowed Brett and Cindy to get going. Now it's going to really thicken up as we move into the next week or so. Next few days to the next week. Here are those waves that we were talking about. This is the first wave here that is likely going to bring some gusty thunderstorms to Trinidad and Tobago, to, to Barbados, the Leeward Windward Islands. No significant development is going to be expected with this. So I want to be clear about that. Nonetheless, there's going to be some gusty thunderstorms coming to parts of the islands. The trailing kind of disturbance here, nothing to write home about. These thunderstorms that are coming off of Africa here, they're kind of strung out. They need to be able to be consolidated for any kind of significant development to happen. And that is just not going to be the case. Now we have a big plume of dust to its north. So if it were to try to do that, it would likely suck in all of that dust. So I think in the short term anyway, really in the next week to 10 days, the tropics should be quiet. Say again for that, the remnants of Cindy potentially redeveloping. We're looking towards the main development region, which again was crazy active for June standards as we had Brent and Cindy develop last week. Closer look at the Caribbean and Gulf of Mexico, close to home, we have disorganized scattered showers and thunderstorms towards, Baha towards the Bahamas. Those aren't going to develop. Same deal towards Central America. And then there is that wave. You kind of see that northerly curl there towards uh, Barbados and towards St. Lucia, Trinidad and Tobago. Again, no significant development likely with that wave, but still some gusty storms coming to the islands. Here's kind of the view over the next four, five, six days or so. 
this is the area that we are watching that's former Cindy, zombie Cindy, that has been re-highlighted by the Hurricane Center for development. You kind of see this kink here. I want to show you the wind field. You see those arrows coming out of the southeast? And then they go up like that, back down like that, and then kind of curl over. It's an open wave. For this to be a tropical cyclone, it's got to be curved like that. My telestration's kind of wonky. But it needs to be a circle. It is not. So that is why Cindy lost its characteristics, because it was kind of ripped open, torn apart by wind shear. It is still doing that. It's still being impacted by that. But watch what happens again as that area gets north of Bermuda. There is what could become Cindy again. There is Bermuda. This is going to be the interesting part. It's going to be the name. Will it stay Cindy? It likely will. The Hurricane Center mentions regeneration, so that kind of tips the hand a little bit um, as to what they're going to do. Typically, when a storm, if it maintains its low-level features, it will re retain the name that it previously had once it develops. If it loses all of its characteristics over the next day or so, then it might become the next name storm of the Atlantic season. But with the Hurricane Center using its own terminology as regenerates, this would likely, if it does, in fact, do that around Bermuda or north of there, it would likely re retain Cindy, unless the NHC and the Hurricane Center feels that it did have its low-level center completely disrupted. Again, it's been disrupted. It's that open wave. It's that trough. It's going to be their discretion. It's going to be their call. Interesting to see what happens there. There's June 30th. Again, this could head towards what may or may not end up being Cindy again. Regardless, could head towards the Canadian Maritimes or Nova Scotia. That would certainly be beneficial news if it doesn't get too strong again to help put out some of those big fires that have been burning on the southern tip of the island. Going forward towards 4th of July weekend, there's nothing threatening the United States at this time. And everything that we showed you coming rolling off of Africa, again, you're looking for that concise, that consolidated red ball for anything to be concerning. And you see everything's kind of just a very elongated so nothing of concern there through the 4th of july hey thank you so much guys for tuning in again we're watching that area north of the caribbean to potentially become cindy once again but that's really it i think the biggest thing tropically headline wise over the next week is going to be the resurgence and that real big first plume of Saharan dust of the season, that first big outbreak anyway. We've already been dealing with it in the Caribbean, and now I think this is the first kind of real rush of dust towards the United States. Thank you again for tuning in. If you found this con content helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to stay updated on all things hurricane season, this season, and all things weather, you have to hit subscribe. Please do that, and we will catch you next time.